Hello. <laughs> Here I am. Hello and a very good evening. Uh, my name's Sean Ryan. You are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show, a show that's been running many, many years here on Idle World. And every Tuesday night at eight, we bring you the latest and the greatest deals in the cruise industry. We've got six deals to tempt you with tonight. We've got some amazing offers. We've actually got one of the biggest savings we've ever seen off a of brochure price. Best part of three and a half thousand pounds, seriously. But he's here. Next to me. <laughs> Can you Looking feel the energy? I can't feel the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Justin is with us. How you doing? Good to see you. We're, we're sort of coordinating, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, well, Ish. we've gone for shirts tonight, no suit jackets. No, yeah. no. Well, we're in the holiday <laughs> mode, aren't we? Exactly, <laughs> and that's the thing. <laughs> well, Justin now is with us. Many of you will know Justin from the Friday shows as well. You worked on the ships, didn't you? Yeah, it's been six years cruising, so, you know, a lot of, lots of the ports that we're going to talk about today. I've actually been there, bought that, done the T-shirt, yeah. occasionally wore it. Uh, probably stumbled out a few other bars, but I will be telling you the best places to eat and drink and the best things to do as well. And a few little tips and tricks on the uh, ships as well. Uh, and between us, uh, you know, we're saying Justin works on cruise ships for many years. I've spent many, many months on cruise ships. I think I've done 22 cruises now. So between us, we, we are here to help you. It's, it's great, though, because, you know, obviously you have a different perspective when you're working on there to when you're actually a passenger. So it's great yeah. to see oh, I, I that excitement about it. Because I never lift a finger when I'm on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... <laughs> It is a different phone number from the Idle World phone number. It's there. You go straight through to the Planet Cruise office. You'll speak to some really experienced cruise consultants. Many of those have been on ships from the cruise industry, so they really know. I was going to say, about, don't they? The fact of the matter is, a lot of it's really bespoke. I mean, we've got some of the stuff a little bit later on, where there's uh, an actual well, not excursion, an included trip to the Ritz to have breakfast and refreshments a little bit later on. It's, it's not your standard cruise package that you get from your high street agent, and that's the beautiful thing. We've got a, a cruise coming up from, later on from Club Med that we were talking yeah. about a couple of weeks ago um, that, that is very hard to find in the UK. So we do specialise in bespoke. We can obviously tailor it to your package as well. And a lot of the guys that you'll speak to, if they have been on board the ships, they're travel experts. So they've actually been out, spent time, lived in the actual city or lived in that country. So you're getting first-hand experience. Uh, and amazing prices, which is you are the biggest independent cruise company in the UK, aren't well, you? And top agents for a lot of the cruise yeah, lines. No. And that's why we get the best deals, because we obviously do so many cabins. Ah, uh, Anyway, I'm excited. So we're going to start off with MSC and... This is actually, it's a fantastic offer. I'm looking now, it's a, an eight night no fly cruise. But when we say no fly, this is actually the first time we've ever featured a cruise, including the Eurostar. So if you don't like flying, just another talk about this, if you don't like flying or for medical reasons you can't fly, you're actually going to be uh, on the Eurostar before your cruise. But here's our Keith to tell you all about MSC. The Aponte family has been navigating the oceans for over 300 years and in 1970 formed the Mediterranean Shipping Company or MSC. In 1988 MSC Cruisers was born and with their European pedigree these ships are built not only to impress but also to embrace true multi-generational cruising. Welcome to the Dolce Vita, the good life. MSC Cruises is very family focused and actually one of the few cruise companies who regularly offer big discounts on child fares. With exclusive partnerships with iconic brands like Lego and Kiko, from the moment the children step on board, they're gonna be made to feel special. Split into five age groups, dedicated and trained staff offer hundreds of different children's activities, including fun time dinners, discos, karaoke, and much, much more. There's also an aqua park, 4D cinema, and access to the latest in gaming. If you've ever been to the Mediterranean, you'll know that food plays a very important role in everyday life. And with MSC Cruises, it's no different. Specially trained chefs produce freshly cooked food from around the world and cater for all dietary requirements. With a buffet open 20 hours a day, seven course a la carte dinners, and a unique partnership with Italy's best loved restaurant train, Italy, meal times with MSC will be the highlight of your cruise. With theme deck parties where you're encouraged to dress up, talent shows, dancing competitions and fun and interactive game shows. There's no shortage of choice with MSC Cruises. Each ship also boasts a full-scale West End style theatre with over 80 original shows to watch which feature dancers, acrobats and artists from all over the world. From luxurious and spacious suites with memory foam mattresses to cleverly designed super family cabins that sleep up to six people. MSC Cruises offer plenty of choice and whatever you choose, you're guaranteed stylish designer decor, flat screen TVs, super powerful showers and enough space to stretch out and relax. 
Oh, there's our lovely there Keith. Keith on one sofa to us on another. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful ship, though. Yeah, but, uh, and a wonderful way to travel. We were just saying, just, just chatting while Keith was uh, taking around the ship there. That it's such an exciting way to travel yeah. on Eurostar. Yeah. Because, you know, a, a train journey, just to start it off, is a completely different way of travelling. And, you know, like we said, if, if you don't like flying, or if you can't fly, or perhaps if you haven't had the chance to do the Orient Express, just think about that trip over, that experience oh, of exciting, getting onto yeah. the train. Do you know what I always wanted to do? I always wanted to do transatlantic on QE2 and fly back on Concord. And I never got to do it. And that's the thing. Perhaps if you do want to travel by train and start it a completely different way, it just get, get, get to well, the airport. We're calling it rail and sail. I like that one. So you've right. had your... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, you've had your uh, Eurostar experience uh, from, obviously, London, St. Pancras to Marseille. And you actually get a one-night stay here in a four-star hotel, don't you? And do you know what? Take a look at this. Imagine this at night. It's the second largest city um, at, um, in France. It's just a beautiful port. So you've got loads to do at night. So just unwind and get yourself into cruise mode. You can literally just relax, start to chill out, and then look forward to seeing the ship coming in in the morning. Well, you'll be transported, of course, from the hotel to the port, all your transfers included, and then you've got this beautiful ship for a seven-night cruise. Where are we, first of all, then? We're heading to an absolute classic Mediterranean port. We're heading to Parma. Now, the great thing is we're here overnight as well. Do you know, it's so rare to have overnights. And when we were working on board, we used to absolutely love it because you get to see a completely different side to the actual port. Uh, I mean, obviously, Parma's a fantastic resort. You've got great beaches. If you go to the West Coast, there's some lovely little harbours if you just like fancy doing, you know, some light lunches with bottles of rosé. That's going to be perfect for you. Um, if you want to do something a little bit different, then you can do the old uh, electric train. It's about 100 years old. Uh, you can go on this really nice, relaxing cruise uh, on a train. Another rail oh. and sail. Um, it's a, a train that used to carry all the oranges back into Parliament. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. So just something a little bit different. Uh, there's the caves as well. But then we go in from nice and chilled out to Ibiza. Now, of course, Ibiza, known as the party island of the Balearics, it's, it's what you make it, really. If you do want it, like, obviously in the daytime, it's going to be great to just walk, wander around. And to be fair, actually, in the daytime, if you like to chill out and relax, then obviously you can go for that side of the party island itself. But when the nights go down, it goes crazy. There's some of the biggest nightclubs over there. If you do fancy Trip of the Light Fantastic, all I'd say is check out everything in advance. I mean, again, when you speak to your agents on the phone at Planet Cruise, ask them about tours and excursions that are available. Ask them what their recommendations are, because sometimes when you actually get out there, it's too late and you miss out on the tours on board the ship. And, and the great thing is, you know, when you are on a cruise, I was just thinking, if you're with a big family and there's some younger members and some older members, you know, the younger members might want to go out clubbing and things, you might want to stay on board the ship. But you've got yeah, or if you're just young at heart. It's, it's amazing yeah. the amount of times that I was on board a cruise ship and I'd say, no, never. And I turn around and it's like, Mum, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> now, where's next, Justin? Uh, we're off to Sardinia. This is beautiful. We're going to focus this on a little bit later when we get to Club Med because, oh, of course, yes. Sardinia, Corsica, it's an absolute beautiful part of the world. Um, very, very crystal clear blue waters um, and fantastic um, for, for celeb spotting as well. It's, it's one of those areas. Um, then we're going to one of the biggest ports. I'd save yourself up for this one, Florence and Pisa. Um, if you want to go and see the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, some great jewellery stores uh, just on the bridge there or if you want to go to Pisa then you can go see the Leaning Tower there as well. One thing I would recommend here is book your tours in advance um, just because you can do both of them in a day. Uh, you, you can get the sort of Florence and Pisa together. If you're feeling adventurous you can use public transport as well but the benefit of doing your tours with the operator or with the ship is they won't leave without you. Um, I, th I think actually in Livorno I nearly got left behind once. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, the, 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 the tours are really, really good, really good. And then, one final port. Yeah, we're going into Genoa. Now, of course, you can get the train to Milan if you fancy going and see uh, some artwork. But look at that. Why would you want to leave the port? It's an absolute beauty. And, of course, the birthplace of uh, Columbus as well. Um, you can also go to Portofino as well, which is uh, not too far as well. But a beautiful stop to finish off your cruise. Uh, and then, that fabulous uh, journey on the Eurostar to get you back to, of course, London, St. Pancras. Now, the ship herself, she is absolutely beautiful. Uh, MSC are known for their opulence, their decadence. They're fantastic ships. And I've got to say, looking at the price, bearing in mind this is actually 
for uh, July sailings and August sailings, we have got prices starting at just 749 on this one. It's a no-fly special, you know, we do listen to your feedback, you know, a lot of you maybe can't fly, don't like flights, it's your chance of actually having this amazing cruise, but actually traveling by the Eurostar. Uh, you get a one night stay also in the full star hotel in Marseille, and you've got those great overnights on board in Parma and Ibiza as well. The ID number for this one is 115322. Don't forget you've got a free phone number there, 020 3696 Let's show you the price actually, because you don't pay much more for the ocean view or the balcony actually, do no. you? And I mean, look the, at that, that's, that, that balcony price there for July, on the second, nine eight nine. I think this is this is just there a great go. example of the package together. You know, you've got that rail journey, you've got the cruise, you've got the overnight in Marseille, you've got the two overnights during the cruise as well, and some great classic ports. Well, uh, I think we're going to be very busy tonight. Are the phone lines open until eleven tonight? Just in the eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, now we're going to move on to uh, a fantastic offer from Cruise and Maritime. And this is on their, their latest ship that they've added to their fleet, the Columbus, as it happens, and it's a 12-night Baltic cruise with the price starting at just 819. But let's talk through the experience with Cruise and Maritime. Myself, I'm a producer, actually. We, we cruised with Cruise and Maritime a few years ago. And um, it's really, actually really nice. Very sort of like relaxed family environment. They're friendly. Yeah, and I was going to say the, the ships, they're classic cruise ships. Yes. Um, so this, this ship is coming into the fleet, going to be completely refurbished and refitted before going back into service. And the great thing is they're smaller ships because at the moment, obviously, there's the trends. We go bigger and better and more. If you don't like large cruise ships, if you don't like thousands of passengers, this is the one for you. And it is very much, when I say a family atmosphere, you get to know people. You'll be certain, next to somebody in the buffet you'll know yeah. that that's the person that was next to the bar last night and you start to make friends and then you can go ashore you can share taxis you can make memories as well do you know, I, I I like both small ships large ships and the medium size but it's just a different experience isn't yeah. it you yeah. know and especially if you've cruised with uh, cruise and maritime before it's quite rare for them to go to this part of the world it's yes, it class is, classic it? Yeah. itinerary for the Baltic um, but an absolute beautiful itinerary um, 12 nights as well so we're gonna we're going to go. We're going to get on the ship uh, from Tilbury as well. So, um, again, no flying. You can take as much luggage as you like. And your holiday begins straight away. So let's go from Tilbury. Relax and at sea, first of all. And we're making our way to Copenhagen, aren't we? I, I absolutely love Copenhagen. The sail into it is fantastic. When Very you get off the ship, oh, I was going to say, look, yeah. at, look at the pretty um, harbour there. Um, classic, the, the old gaffer sort of style um, ships that they have here are absolutely fantastic. And please, walk into town. There's usually shuttle buses that go in, but if you walk into town, then you can see the Little Mermaid. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You've got to go and see the Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah. There's some lovely fountains there. And then as you get into the actual main drive, there's just one main street that goes up. There's some rather interesting museums, if you like something a little bit quirky. Um, <laughs> stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that you've got to go and do, you've got to go to Tivoli. It is yeah. one of the greatest Think, well, when I say theme parks, it's just this wonderful park. They've got this old roller coaster there. They've, it's, do you know what? It's the first place I've ever had candy floss. 23 years of age, and I had never had candy Seriously? floss. Seriously? Yeah, I always remember Tivoli Gardens. What a... But the evenings in Tivoli are just absolutely epic. But you'll love Copenhagen. Just think what, what a deprived childhood you have. No candy floss. I, I think I was given it once about, you know, when I was a toddler, it just scared the life out of me. Anyway, um, we're off to Germany now, and we're going to Warnemunde. Now, on one side of this port, you've got this lovely little town. Uh, and it's almost little canals inside the actual port itself. So lovely to stroll along the side of. And then you see these little beach huts. Now, the Germans, I know they're famous for the towels, but they're famous for their swimming as well. These guys go swim 365 days of the year. It doesn't matter what wind or weather or rain it is, they're out swimming. However, go to the other side of the port, a little chain ferry across, and that part of the, uh, the port, it's almost their sort of summer resort. So you have a lot of smaller houses that people will only go to in the summertime. Uh, also, you can go from here on into Berlin if you do want to uh, take, perhaps take a day trip uh, and go and see some of the uh, sites in Berlin as well. They've got a day at sea, and I always love the days at sea. You know, they think, great, you get to spend a bit of time on the ship, relax. But we're making our way to Tallinn, aren't we? Uh, do you know what, Tallinn, I've spent time in there cruising. I've spent time in there on holiday as well. I've got a good friend of mine who's married to an Estonian girl. 
well. They actually got married in the uh, the town hall that you'll see uh, right now, actually. Uh, the town hall, right in, this, in the, uh, the town square. Um, it's quite expensive around this area. That's one thing that I would say is, you know, where to get your best value for money. But it's great, it's great for people watching. There's the town hall there. Um, so you've got the massive city square. You can wander on up to the church if you're feeling a little bit athletic. But there's a fantastic flower market just as you enter um, the port where the shuttle buses drop you off. Um, and I know it's a bit strange to be buying flowers on a cruise. But you've got to buy these flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous. Really? And put them into your cabin. Um, perhaps a little bit of a surprise if there's any of the guys watching. So uh, just remember that. Little brownie points. Um, but yeah, lo lovely port uh, of Tallinn. Then we're on to St. Petersburg. Now, the fantastic thing about St. Petersburg is not only is it a great port. I mean, you've got the Hermitage there. You've got the, uh, the Church of Spilt Blood, which is, you know, iconic. But you're staying here overnight. And the great thing is... St. Petersburg is one of those places you can wander around um, if you keep your wits about you, or you've got to go on a tour. If you want to go to the Hermitage, you've, you've got to go on a tour. Yeah, you know, I've, ne I've never been, but I, I desperately want to Can go I just out. say, though, if you go on a tour there, you'll, you'll think, I, I'll get it all in, I'll take loads of photographs. You won't even scratch the surface. There is such an amazing collection. There's the Church of Spilt Blood, iconic for its domes on the top there. Also, uh, is it sort of a quirky aside? If you like militaralia, um, then literally you can buy anything Russian there. Um, so if you perhaps fancy getting one of those old submarine, you know, remember the uh, the big furry hats? Yeah. Um, you know, bring one of those back. <laughs> if, if somebody's into their sort of military <laughs> stuff, then you can do. Then we're off to Helsinki. And um, this is a really interesting port. There is some amazing shops here. Go careful with your credit card. It's going to take a battery. Um, it's also quite a busy port going in and out. There's a lot of ferries that are going in and out of there. But fantastic neoclassical architecture. Um, so it's really interesting just to get lost here. Just have a wander around um, and try some of the delicacies as well. Fish dishes are really big in Helsinki. Then we're going to go into Stockholm, uh, which is... Um, quite interesting actually this is the capital of Scandinavia this is really a Viking stronghold so when you as, as you go into the actual port itself it's really really interesting and if you want to go to some some of the museums and see some of the Viking longboats um, then you can do um, then you got your two days at sea and then you're coming back to Tilbury so uh, again the, the great that you've you've not got to fly Fantastic you've got an overnight uh, in St. Petersburg. Oh, I didn't mention in St. Petersburg, you've got to go to the ballet in the evening. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's, it's, definitely. it's a given. And uh, Even if you're not interested in the arts and theatre, it's just one of those experiences you've got to go and do. But uh, what and a then, wonderful cruise. And then finally back to Tilby. Now, you've got a massive saving on this one. I forgot to mention, you're actually saving the best part, well, in fact, over £900, £920 off the brochure price. It's actually better than half price. So it's 819, that's the price we've got live on the show today. Uh, as I mentioned, better than half price, you are saving £920 off that brochure price. Um, great single price as well. You know, if you're one of our single ladies and gents, then we've got a price for you starting at just £1,139. You're going to be on board the, the latest acquisition, the Columbus, for 12 nights. This is going to be her maiden season. And of course, only a deposit needed today. The ID number for that one is 115680. Just want to share with you the prices. So we've got the uh, the lead price there starting at 819, but fantastic prices on the outside and a great single price there as well. But um, I think it's about I think it was about ooh, maybe two years ago now, I had the, the pleasure of cruising with Oceania. Now this really is a top cruise company. We're looking at five star, five star plus actually. They're known for having the best food at sea, the service the ships are at, now everything is immaculate. And today's offer I actually think is the best that we've ever had for Oceania. You're actually saving on this one. Let me just, uh, let me just share this with you. 3,410 pounds off the brochure price. So the biggest saving we've ever had, but let's go onto the ship first of all, just Steve. Absolutely stunning ships. I'm so looking forward to seeing the ship later on this year, hopefully, because it's so talked about within oh. the industry. And that's the thing, when you get a cruise line that people who work with cruise lines are excited about, that's when you know that it's something truly special. Again, not a massive ship, you know, this no, is nice. No, no, not at all, mid-size. Mid-size, you're looking at only, uh, well, you look 66,000 tonnes, around 1,200 passengers, but it is that sense of service that you get. Cruises is always great. It doesn't matter what cruise line you go on, you get great levels of service. I'll tell you service. what, though, Oceana, they do take it to that next level when it comes to the food, the service. I just remember a lot of space on the ship as well. I was on the sister ship to the Riviera and loads and loads of space. Oh, the marina? 
Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sister ship. Um, but it was one of the most beautiful cruise experiences ever. And the specialized restaurants, which are included, were just outstanding. And I, I was going the to say, my favorite. Mm. I, I got to say, it's one of those things that if, if you go on just cr you, you use your cruises throughout the Mediterranean and the Caribbean, you haven't cruised until you've done a cruise like no. this. And because the, the ports, again, are fantastic, <sighs> but it's that complete package that you've got from when you step on board the ship to when you actually go back home. You will, um, you will adore this one. And wait, and honestly, I've, I mentioned that saving. I'm going to read it out again. You're saving £3,410 off the brochure price. And we're giving you loads of extras as well, which we'll talk about. But let's talk about the beautiful ports you'll be visiting. Because we, we fly from London to Venice. A cruise out of Venice doesn't get better than that, does Have it? Have you cruised out of Venice yeah, before? Yeah, the Grand amazing. Canal. Oh, and, and the lovely thing is, with this size ship, you're going to be right in the middle of Venice. Yes, you are. You've got St. Mark's Square there, which is great. You've got to go on a gondola. Just one Cornetto. Other brands are available. Um, but one thing you've got to try as well, go over to some of the islands. There's the islands of Murano, which is famous mm. for its glass. So you want to go and try that. Um, and if you do want to have a truly amazing experience go to the Hotel Daniele in fact the picture that you can see right now where you can see the little bridge you've got the bridge of size literally just a little bit further to the right hand side you'll find the most amazing hotel with this brown marble interior and they do the best and that's that's my recommendation the best Bellini cocktails ever and this, is a, this is a man of experience. <laughs> this is, it serves you. The guys have got waistcoats on and white gloves. Oh. It's just, you know, when you go, oh, I don't care how much it costs. It's just, it's just amazing. So go, go and do that. Um, Venice is, is definitely a tick list. Then um, you go into, this is an interesting port, one I haven't actually been to. We're going to Slovenia. Now this is, again, got that Venetian feel. Of course, it's still part of the Adriatic. Um, but the bell tower is the centre of the actual town itself. You can walk up this, it's only a few euros um, if you fancy going up to the top and you've got to do these things. You've got to push yourself because especially after all that food that you've eaten uh, then you can work some of it off. Um, but apparently some of the, some of the local um, gifts here are very good. Lace, crystal and the wines, the local wines something a little bit different bring something back really enjoy yourself in that port let us know as well if you go on the screws let us know what you think of that port it'd be interesting to see um, then we're off to Dubrovnik now this is one of my favorite ports of all time of the Adriatic it is a walled city it's a pedestrian city as well so the the coach will drop you off as the transfer like a, a shuttle bus you'll wander around the town without having to worry about stepping out into the road having any mopeds or, or anything going around you've got these lovely smooth stone streets um, that are just fantastic in fact the next picture that you're going to see of it's just that that captures Dubrovnik You've got lovely little cafes and bars around. You can actually walk the wall if you're feeling athletic. It takes about an hour and a half. Um, but all I would say is take water with you because there's yeah, very yeah, few yeah. stops around the top. It can get quite hot um, if, oh, if looks, you're up there. It's, it's so nice. It's, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Then we're going into uh, Montenegro. We're going into KOTOR. Now, uh, this is, is, again, just another beautiful city. The perspective that you get from here is that St. Trifons. There's the, the, there's, you've got to go to the um, cathedral. Uh, of St. Triffins, but the actual perspective of the, the little harbour in the bay is absolutely stunning. Um, you d you've got um, buildings dating back to the 11th century here. So, it looks um, magical, actually. Again, I've got to say, this is one of the ports to wander, have lunch, and keep wandering, get lost, enjoy it. Then Palermo next, isn't it? Move yeah, we're going into Palermo. Now, this, this, is, this is something that's a little bit different. You can see the dramatic landscape that you've actually got behind there. Um, French and Spanish feel to it. You've got to go to some of the churches and cathedrals. Um, you've also got a little bit of, of an Arabic twist on there as well. Um, as, as is with much of the Meds, you've, you've got a melting pot of cultures, and that's the great thing um, with these cities, but uh, a lovely place to wander around. Then we're going into our big, big ports. Again, can't emphasize this enough, book your tours in advance. If you do feel adventurous, you can do Rome in a day, but it's a whistle-stop tour. <laughs> I've, now, done, I've done it in a day, but you're right, I, I, I was on the move. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you, <laughs> to, to get it all in, I mean, you know, when, when you've got the Colosseum, you know, and again, to, to queue up to get the tickets, do it in advance. Yeah. It's so much better to spend more time in the attraction. Um, then you've obviously got to go um, into town. Um, you've got to go into the Vatican City. Absolutely stunning there. You've got the Trevi Fountain. 
uh, as well, um, which is which is an absolute stunning thing. Um, but definitely book your tours um, early on that one. Uh, Florence and uh, Pisa is coming up next. Um, we already talked about this earlier on. Again, another big port for your tours, um, so make sure you book up nice and early. And then we're into Monte Carlo. This I am. Um, I love Monte Carlo. It's, it's, it's yeah. one of my favourite ports. Same here. This is it's the exciting. Casino of Monte Carlo. This is Casino Square, if you like your Formula One. To the left-hand side, you've got the pa Café de Paris. And it's probably one of the most expensive lunches I've ever had. It was like croque monsieur, a bottle of water, a bottle of wine, and something else. It was about 90 euros ten years ago. <laughs> but you've got to go and do it to sit there and see the cars go by, yeah. and you never know who do, you're going to see. I do, I do remember seeing amazing cars there, amazing cars. Where's next anyway? Because we've uh, got loads of ports there, haven't we? Going into Marseille, um, we, we covered this earlier on in the, uh, the previous cruise, then we're going into Barcelona. Love this place oh. as well. Um, Barcelona is just amazing. The Ramblers is just one of those experiences. And I tell you what, you never know who you might meet there. Is this Keith? If you're on a cruise around the Mediterranean, there's one port that's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. A city of stunning architectural contrasts, which is one of Europe's most beautiful and exciting destinations. Welcome to Barcelona. by the nearest bar, order a nice big jug of sangria, some wonderful tapas, sit back and enjoy. Oh, there's our Keith. I love Barcelona as well. Now, very important tonight. I mentioned that in the eight years I've been presenting this show, we think this is the biggest saving we've ever had, over £3,400 off the brochure price. This is about to get even better. When you ring a Planet Cruise agent tonight, they're going to give you an exclusive extra. I'm not allowed to mention what it is, but you'll find out if you give us a call right now. There's going to be a nice extra gift from Planet Cruise. But that's not it. You also get to choose from three options. So let's just talk through these. Have a look. Is This is what you can have. You can have $800 on board spend per stateroom. How good is that going to be? That's a, that's a lot of money, and you can spend that whatever you want on the ship. Free drinks package uh, or three free shore excursions. So you choose what you're going to get your free, but they're all massive. I think you'll agree that. Incredible savings, the biggest I think I've ever seen on the show, over £3,400. Return flights are included. Uh, free Wi-Fi as well. And you can actually change the airport. We've actually got seven other ones available from just £49 per person as well. That, I believe, is the best offer we've ever had with Oceania. Amazing offer. But please be quick tonight. And look at the lead date. That's the 28th of July. We're talking peak season and all those wonderful places, Justin, as well. And but just a great ship as yeah, well. Yeah, amazing. Just such great value. So, my voice went a bit high there. When my voice gets high, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, also, we, we love it when you email us. We love it when you send your pictures in. And we've got Sonia, who actually sent us her uh, favourite cruising moment. And don't forget, you can do that. Hash Planet Cruise Capture. So thank you. And she was on the Evasion of the Seas. I just want to know who photobombed her. It's just Sonia, but who's that behind I don't her? know. <laughs> I don't know. Sonia, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, uh, Sonia. And keep those pictures coming in. But uh, we've just been told we've got a surprise phone call coming in. They like to keep us on our toes, Justin, don't they? I was watching. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't know who it is yet. Oh, it's Glenn, apparently. Is it? Hello, it is hello Glenn. Shawnee, how are you? <laughs> Surprised. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right, mate. How are you? You OK? Hi, yeah. Justin. Just to you all right? <laughs> yeah, good, good. Um, Glenn, um, whenever we get a live call from the, uh, the, say, the, the call centre, we know that something good's coming. What have you got tonight for us? 
It's just a deal we've just come in from Princess. It's on the Caribbean Princess. They're doing some really good deals sailing out of Southampton at the moment. Now, the lead date we've got going in on this at the moment is the 13th of June. It's a British Isles cruise, um, and it's a 12-night cruise. They've got some great deals on there. Just come in at uh, price reduction down to 689 for an inside cabin. Outside's at 839, or you can treat yourself for a balcony at 1139. Uh, say British Isles cruise going to some great ports of call around the country and the lead on date as I said is the 13th of June we also have sale dates the 20th of May 2016 and the 1st of June 2016 as well I tell you what we've, we've had that cruise on the show before a few years ago and 689 for a lead price is amazing and that was that was 12 nights wasn't it yeah we've just been yeah. working it out Sean it works out about 58 pounds per person yeah. per night so you know you can't get a hotel room for that and I was and, on that uh, ship um, last year and I loved it I loved the Caribbean princess they're and brilliant it, cruises like, and they go to really you know a couple of little different um, itineraries on the uh, the three different cruises but really really good if you want to get to some of the great places around the British Isles oh that's amazing and yeah brilliant really good Glenn, I've been told that we, we've been out, out of time, but I think that is one of the best deals we've ever had again. Thank you so much, Glenn. We'll see you on okay, the show guys, soon. OK, guys, i better get back to the phones. Sounded busy, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Yeah, the, can you quite like going on in the background, couldn't you? Do you know what? Those cruises are fantastic. It's, it's like a load of little mini breaks in a cruise. Yeah. So if you like your weekend breaks in cities, that's like a combination of all of them together. Yeah, I, um, 689 was that lead price. I think that'll go very, very quickly. Now... There's still, <laughs> still more. We're going to move on to Celebrity Cruises. Uh, again, Planet Cruises are the top agent for Celebrity Cruises. It's a company that I've cruised with. I've been very lucky. I've cruised them five times now. Five-star modern luxury at its best. However, I've never been to this part of the world because we're going over to Abu Dhabi in Dubai, aren't we? Oh, just it's some absolute fantastic locations. But, I, I mean, the ship, what, I mean, you've been back five times. Yeah. What's the key thing for you, Sean? Do you know the fact that they've never disappointed, that every aspect is as close to perfect as possible? You know, the food, the service, the, the modern luxury. I love the designs of the ship. I love the style of the ships. I just love to go up on the lawn. Yeah, <laughs> real grass. I just think they're, yeah. they're, they've got over half an acre of real grass at sea. Yeah. And believe me, it's difficult enough to maintain a ship um, at sea, let alone uh, yeah. grass. But they've got a great wine selection um, that you can literally oh, well. choose to, uh, by <laughs> yeah. the glass. Have you tried all of them? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, but um, once you've cruised with Celebrity, you, you will really want to keep cruising with them. They are outstanding. However, just I've never been to this part of the world, and I'd love to go. Um, honestly, never been. Um, all I do know is that this time of the year, the weather's going to be great, isn't it? About 25 degrees. It's, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And a great, it, like, uh, for this part of the, the, the world, a great way to see it as well. Fly into Abu Dhabi, and then you're actually going to transfer from your airport to the port, um, and then on board your ship. Now, the first port of call is Dubai. And the great thing about this is there's just so much. But before you get on board your ship, you have got an experience like no other. I would love to do this in London, let alone Dubai. What is You're going to get to go and have breakfast at the Ritz and have refreshments before boarding the ship. So how nice. So after that flight, you're really treated to say lovely breakfast, refreshments. Just refresh yourself yeah. and then experience that luxury that you're going to get used to. Um, then, I mean, Dubai um, in itself, the actual port is just unbelievable. Uh, of course, you've got the Burj Khalifa, you've got the Dubai malls, you've got fantastic shopping here as well. I mean, just obscene shopping. The, the actual shopping centres that you've got um, are probably some of the best in the world. But then in saying that, some of the sooks and the markets, there's, there's a market dedicated to gold. Re a whole market? Just go to the sook and it's just wow. all gold. But the great thing is, because you've got the two nights overboard here, you can truly immerse yourself in the culture. You can really embrace the cuisine. And it just, oh, we've got some golfing coming a little bit later. I can't believe that. It's a bit like Vegas. Yeah, it's just built in the middle of the desert, and then you've got, yeah, snowboarding. So um, you've got skiing. There. <laughs> um, I, I would recommend that you do do a tour, go out, whether it's with the horses, whether it's the cows, go out into the desert. Um, and if you do do like your cars, then perhaps do one of the Jeep safaris as well. It really is fantastic. Oh, I mean, uh, that, that to me looks really exciting. Something for everybody. Uh, where's next then? 
Um, we're going to go to Muscat, and this is another overnight on board. I can't believe tonight's show. We've got so many overnights, and the great thing is you can go in. Uh, you can go into the port in the day. Um, I would say that with this, you've got to go to some of the forts and experience this part of the world. You can't go all of that way and just enjoy the weather and go, oh, it was nice to come back with the tan. Go and immerse yourself with the culture. And again, the fact that you've got overnight on board is just another great way of seeing that port in a completely different light. Excuse the pun. Then you're to go into Amman. There is one thing that you have to do here. You have to go on a boat trip. Um, the, we, we were saying about the old gaffer boats that we had over in Copenhagen. The local, like you have junkers uh, over in Japan, um, you want to go for the Dow. Um, and it's a traditional sail ship. Um, there's, there's some fantastic tours. You can go out and have uh, um, Arabian teas and you can have dates. Mm. And yet, you, look, you know, when you go, when in Rome, <laughs> you've got to have dates in this part of the world. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so it's one of those days that you can unwind and relax. Not so much of a big port as some of the other ones. Um, then we're going to go um, into, uh, well, a relaxing day at sea. Um, and then, oh, sorry, no, um, Abu Dhabi. I'm getting myself confused here. Um, Abu Dhabi. Now this, <laughs> again, it's like the book. We started off in Dubai. Um, this is like the sister city. Again, it is on a different scale. Um, one thing you've got to go to is you've got to go down to the marina. You've got to see the Marina Bay Hotel, three skyscrapers up into the, the sky, and there is literally like a, a man-made island at the top. It's like a resort on top of three skyscrapers. Um, and then on top of that, You've also got the wonderful F1 circuit that goes around Yas Marina Bay as well. I, well, um, you've got the world's fastest roller coaster here. You've got Ferrari World as well. So if anybody's into their motorsport, you've got to go there. But again, shopping is key here. Um, really good. You can buy Persian rugs. You can buy uh, antiques. Arabian textiles, you name it, you've got it. Well, we, we are suddenly out of time, but I think this one will fly. Look at the price. Work out what the flights would cost you alone for that one. So you're only paying 799 Very true. Uh, we've got return flights from either London Heathrow or Manchester, all your flights included, of course, uh, your transfers. Um, your flights uh, include breakfast and refreshments at the Ritz Hotel on arrival as well. How nice is that going to be? Uh, two overnights on board in Dubai and, of course, the, the overnight on board in Muscat and Abu Dhabi. Um, one of the, again, one of the, the best prices we've seen. However, if you'd like to take it that step further, we have got concierge class available as well. And you get extras such as priority check-in, uh, you'll get welcome gifts. Uh, you've got their main and specialty seating time preferences and things like your custom blended charge hours. But just ask our, our call centre about Celebrity Concierge Class as well. But that is an amazing offer from Celebrity, the 10-night Arabian Coast and Dubai cruise, uh, of course, from Abu Dhabi, starting at just £800. And don't forget, it is a free phone number, 020-3696-9457. But we have got a very special guest with the perfect name for what he does. Phil Shipman is here. <laughs> I bet people always say that to you, don't it's they? It's a cliche. Nice yeah. to have you on board. Thank <laughs> you. Oh. And I thought I was being clever there. Phil, nice to have you on board. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so Thank you for having me. Um, I've been on a lot of cruises, but I've never experienced what you're about to tell us about with Club Med. I've done a Club Med holiday. Yeah. But you've got something very special, unique to offer us tonight, haven't you? Absolutely. Well, this is the thing about Club Med. Um, most people don't realise we're actually an international hotel chain. So we have over 60 resorts all around the world that are all based on land. And basically, we have a cruise ship, which is an extension of our product on land, on the sea. And we call it Club Med 2. So it's a premium, all-inclusive, five-mast sail ship. Yeah, let's, let's just look at this, actually. Yeah. She is beautiful. I mean, isn't she? So we, she, I mean, <clears throat> she turns heads everywhere, doesn't she? Well, she's a bit of a celebrity in her own right. When, whenever she pulls up into to port, and I know we talked about this earlier before uh, we came on, people turn heads and they go, what is that I mean, ship? She looks beautiful. So what, what, you've been on board, obviously. I What's have. life like on board? Very relaxed, very laid back. We are at the, the higher end of the market. Um, we sort of rate it as a five-star ship, but you can expect gourmet food, um, the top service, um, all your drinks are included. So everything oh, from e even your alcoholic drink, champagne after six o'clock in the evening, all your cocktails, 
everything you could wish for, um, but we go one step further as well because what we actually do is we include a lot of activities. We can actually drop the back of the boat down when she's in port and we can actually do water skiing, wakeboarding, you can see some of the sports there. What, and they're included in the price? Absolutely, all included, no extra cost. So we have a full fitness program and, on board. And, and the actual cabins, I mean I presume that they'd be, you know, <coughs> Not, not that big, and they're actually really generous in size, aren't oh, they? Oh yeah, the cabins are amazing. Um, you, you could probably get a couple of double beds in. There's, there's plenty wow. of storage space, which I know is a, is, is a big issue on some cruise ships. There's nowhere to put your luggage, there's nowhere to put your suitcase. No, there's plenty of room on board. Cabins are spacious. Um, basically, you've just got everything you need. Wow. How many passengers, approximately? Only uh, 386. 386? 386, yes, less than 400. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's precision for you. 386. You could be one of those 386. Um, now, you've given us an amazing price today as well. Bear in mind, everything's included. What about tips and gratuities as All well? All included. All included. Yep, nothing wow. to pay. So, literally, you get on board, you can eat, drink, relax, enjoy yourself, do as much or as little as you want. And, and we don't have to dress up too much or anything like no. that, do we? No, we're, we're a very informal company. It's an, like an understated luxury. So if you want to come down in the evenings and you, you want to be dressy, you can be. But if you want to come down and just take it easy, relax, God. however you want to take it. Just didn't, don't think this one looks really good. It sounds right. I, I, I was going to say, we, we were talking earlier yeah. on about how when we used to pull up in port, and it's like cruise ship envy. You yeah. look across <laughs> the port and you go, I want to be on that ship. Yeah. And, that, and that was the thing. And we were talking earlier on about another ship that we used to see in the, in the Caribbean a lot, and you used to own that as well. That we was Club Med 1. We did. That went on. So, you ship. know, it's, it's such a small world. But, you know, these ships are, are something else. But it's also the activities, the fact that you can also do scuba diving and also the golf part of it, which we've got yeah. on this. We've got a really great offer, yes. um, on, especially with, obviously, the, uh, the golf that's going on at the moment. Um, then, uh, then this is going to be perfect for you. So tell us a bit about the, the, the golf aspect so of this then. what we decided to do is we've got a selection of cruises this one in particular is all about the golf but we call them thematic cruises um, so on this you pay um, the supplement for the the golf um, we cruise around um, the northern part of uh, well northern part of Italy down to Sardinia Corsica south of France and you can go and play golf wow. on, on site so you can go off and you can do your green fees at some amazing courses there you can see uh, just bring your golf clubs we'll sort out the caddies we'll sort out everything else and if there's somebody that goes with you that doesn't want to play golf, they can just stay on board the ship, there's no pressure. But uh, what a great way to go and play golf, something completely different. I, and, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of couples where, you know, one of them does like golf, the other doesn't. So that's not a problem at all, is no, it? not at all. So, so again, this is the golf theme cruise. There are some other, um, say, theme cruises which we'll talk about as well. But I've got to say, I think it's one of the most exciting, I think it's one of the most exciting cruises we've ever had on the show. Oh. Something completely different. Well, we've only just started working in the UK. Um, Club Med, as, as is a brand for a cruise, um, isn't very well known. People don't know that we've got a cruise ship. There are people out there that probably go on Club Med holidays, which you can book through Planet Cruise, by the way, um, that don't realise that we have a cruise ship. But they might go on cruise holidays. So this is the perfect opportunity, and Planet Cruise is the first sort of agency that we've actually yeah. really started to work with. Because you're very selective with the agents you use, of course. Very selective, but Hence yeah. working with the Planet Cruise tonight. Anyway... Uh, Justin, where are we going to? It's a, it's a fantastic region. <laughs> I mean, you've got great. You've got five fantastic golf courses. Yeah. So if, if you love it, we'll go through those a little bit later. Starting off in Sardinia, we mentioned this earlier on. Um, this is just. It, it's named actually the Gulf of Oranges, uh, the first port of call, um, and it's just stunning. You can go to Costa Smeralda as well. So uh, if you want to go a little bit sled spotting. Then we're off to Corsica, uh, Bonifacio. Now Bonifacio has got this wonderful sort of cliff top. It, it's like literally overhanging um, the cliff tops. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, of course, this was uh, the bolt hole for Napoleon Bonaparte, so there's, there's plenty of history to do here as well. Um, then we're off to Elba uh, as well. This was, uh, the, the story was that the legend Venus, her necklace fell into the ocean and this is what the, actual, uh, the necklace produced, it was Elba. So you can imagine the beauty, the crystal clear waters that you've got there. Um, then we go into Saint-Tropez. All I'd say is, get off in Saint-Tropez and there's some fantastic little bars and cafes that are above the street. You gotta go people watching. Um, yeah. Because the boutiques, I'm just going to be honest with you, um, I know this is, this is a higher end of the market, but the boutiques in here, they have no prices on the handbags, girls. 
and it's because they are thousands, probably 15,000 euros plus it's it's disgustingly um rich um but you got you got to go there it's absolutely stunning uh then we're going to go into antibes we're going to go to france go to chateau grimaldi and then back to nice to finish off your cruise but the fact of the matter is all of these wonderful ports have got that same italian and french feel and if you are a golfer then you're going to absolutely love the golf courses well Shall we have a have a look at this beautiful ship one final time? God, tell us again, Phil, what was it like on board? Oh, it's just it's just an unforgettable experience. I mean, when you cruise out the harbour and they put the uh, the, the sails up and you, you cruise out into the God. sea for the first time with a glass of champagne in your hand, and it's, very relaxed and chilled. Oh, it's brilliant. It's yeah. absolutely brilliant. It's it's an unforgettable experience, and I really do urge people out there if they've looked at her, maybe seen something similar out in the water, and they just think they've always fancied trying it, give us a go. Um, uh, well, I tell you what, I. Definitely, definitely love to do that. Um, I think we will be busy for it actually tonight. Now it is a, a five-star all-inclusive luxury yachting experience. Really doesn't get better than this actually, does it? And um, remember we, we mentioned sailing, windsurfing, wakeboarding, that's all included of course. Return flights based on London and we, the singles are really good on this as yeah, well, isn't it? Barely any supplement at all. That's, that's very, really very good, good for singles actually. Yeah, yeah really it's good. what, 120 pounds? Yeah. That's excellent. It's, it's virtually nothing. So um, all of our single ladies and gents, don't uh, delay on this one. Uh, now, let's talk about the, the golfing package as well. Uh, again, this is an option, isn't it? It is. It's an optional extra. So uh, it starts from £500. You add on the green fees package and you get to play these four courses wow. throughout your stay. So when you're coming off, you've still got time. It's, it's over seven nights. So there's only four stops where you can play a course. There's plenty of time to explore the local area. Um, but as I say, you can just come along. We include um, an instructor. So you'll have a professional PGA pro instructor accompanying you when you go around. Um, transfers are all included, there's no hassle, we do all the booking for you, you just literally turn up with your clubs and off you go. Isn't it fabulous to have that option? And then, just uh, a little bit more about what Club Med offer, and you'll see here many, many highlights. So, uh, premium class, relaxed, freestyle dining, so there's no set times or anything like that? No, we have, we have two main dining rooms on board for the evenings, and basically you can make a choice whether you go formal or informal, so you can choose how that works. Um, we have late breakfast, late lunch, as well as the normal time oh, as well. So you, can, you, can eat, you can eat whenever you feel like it. <laughs> you like it? I like a bit late breakfast. <laughs> uh, now, all of your drinks we mentioned as well, they are included, aren't yes. they? Uh, and then all of your activities, uh, you know, in the cost, you know, the fitness school, wind surface, water skiing, wakeboarding, uh, all of that, and even your snorkeling, sailing, and kayaking as well. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Uh, and then you also do some other themed cruises as well, don't you? Absolutely, yes. Um, we've basically we've, we've introduced a couple of other different uh, types and style of cruise. So we're doing one that's themed around scuba diving. Uh, we're doing one that's themed for families, where we've got the childcare there as well. So we look after the kids throughout the stay. Um, and then with with the theme of gastronomy and food, uh, we have a course that's um, uh, sorry a cruise that's completely geared around food. So we have famous like chefs on board showing you how to cook and all the different uh, beautiful meals. <laughs> I think Justin would like that one as well. Like, I'm laughing at a cook. No, I'll just enjoy eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, can I just say, Phil, thank you so much. Thank you for having that me. Was, that was brilliant, wasn't it? And, and really we'll wait good. for our invites on board, of course. Right. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, do you know what I like about that? Because sometimes I go away, like groupers go away, but sometimes my mum will come with us as well, and I think she'd just love that experience. And the single price was amazing. Yeah. Really good. Thank really you, good. Phil. We'll see you again very soon, I'm sure. Thank I think you. that one will be busy. Now, we still have, where does the time go? One final cruise, and it's one of your favourite. Favorites. It is, of course, Thompson Cruises. Let's give you a little taster. Here we go. So, first of all, Thompson Cruises, this is all about you having a great time. Uh, we're giving you a free all inclusive upgrade today as well. So, all of your drinks are getting included in this one, and it's 30 nights from Barbados to Mallorca. Um, just let's just talk about the, the, the Thompson experience because this is all about, again, it's relaxed, it's fun, yeah, great and entertainment. You, you'll get that feeling, that, that sort of gala reunion feeling, where you, you go back and you see people that you recognise, and you go, oh, we, we were on a cruise together. And everybody has that sort of, that feeling of, of being a family. Yeah. You'll go ashore and you'll bump into people, and you go, oh, do you want to have a drink? You know, and it'll just be catching up. Probably you'll end up, you'll go on the next cruise, and you go, you were there last time, weren't you? It's that lovely, homely feeling. The ships are fantastic, the food, is stunning really for, for this price point the food is great quality I know we've had a great variance of, of different uh, offerings from Planet Cruise tonight but this is just great value fun cruising um, and, and I know Thompson are known for their great entertainment as well we've seen a bit of it yes there. yeah definitely now 
This is this is great, actually. It really is great because we we. I'm thinking you're going to be sunbathing, you're going to be relaxing, you're going to be doing a bit of partying, but it starts off the flight from the UK to Barbados, yeah. and then a 30-night cruise. Yeah, and the great thing is your first day um, you're going to get to experiences in St. Lucia. Um, St. Lucia is, is just iconic for the pitons. So you've got these lovely right. two um, sort of mountains that, that rise up, and of course you've got to try the local beer because it's named after the pitons. Um, places to go here, you've got to go to Marigot Bay where they film the original Doctor Doolittle. There's a great resort there with a great cocktail bar called the Great Pink Sink Sea Snail. Did I just say that right? I, 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 it, just sounded, about... it, it sounded okay. <laughs> um, also, if you just want to go to the beach, you can go to the north of the island, go to Pigeon Point Spinnakers. There's some great bars up there. You know, great for water sports. If you love jet skiing, if you love windsurfing, just go and do it. And there's also great, some great duty free in Castries, which is the actual port that you're stopping I in. I think we can guarantee you're going to have a great day, though, aren't you? You oh, are. Definitely. definitely. Um, then we're off to St. John. We're going to uh, Antigua. And the great thing about this is. Um, sorry, not Antigua, the Virgin Islands. <laughs> it's close. I'm, I'm, well, it's in the Caribbean. You're getting relaxed, aren't you? This is a very American port that you've got here. Great facilities. Also, if you love your shopping, um, you're going to end up getting all of your American brands here at yeah, just yeah, yeah. amazing prices. Again, great for duty free. Just check your allowances before you come back. Now, you have got several days at sea, and this is the time where you're going to really chill out, relax, sunbathe. You have got an all inclusive drinks package. You know, I know, let's be honest, when you've got a few days at sea, you might have a little drink around the pool and things like that, but you've got an all inclusive drinks package on this, haven't you? Uh, do you know what? There's, 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 a, there's a lot to be said about fresh sea air, and I said this yeah, earlier yeah, on yeah, when, yeah. We're, when we're talking. I really envy the passengers being able to be on the promenade deck on a steamer, on a lounger, just to, you know, just yeah. to sit there, just doze off, you know, it's, go through a book, I mean, just, it's, it's it doesn't the, matter. It's the same as being, you know, if you imagine a hotel holiday where you're in a hotel and you've got the pool and you, you spend the whole week around the pool. The days at sea, they're like that, but they're so much better because there's so much more happening around the ship. Lots more bars, restaurants, entertainment. They're just great, aren't they? And, and the thing is, I know and, I, know I come across the ocean. This, it's like party person, I, you know, I've got to be at bars and restaurants. But you know what, the relaxing sound yeah. of the ocean, that sea air, and just that gentle rocking, it's just... Oh, oh it's going to be amazing. I'm there, I'm there, I'm drifting, I'm drifting. I'm there. Um, I'll uh, tell you what, though, now, as we, we come... Oh, there's, oh, by the way, I just want to show a bit more of the, the fabulous shift, the atrium there, so the choice of bars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got an all-inclusive drinks package, so you might be there. Um, uh, but... We're making our way to Madeira. I know I joke about drinks package. I mean, obviously, be sensible and things, but it is nice to know you're not going to end up with a big bar bill at the end of the cruise. Yeah, well, well, Hayley as well. She, she, she's come back with hardly anything, as, as in a bar bill, and yeah. that's the great thing. You can go and indulge and enjoy. And Hayley's one of our lovely presenters, by the way. You know, uh, does uh, presents show. She's presented it many times on a Friday and on a Tuesday, of course, as well. We're making our way there too. Madeira. Madeira. Yeah, Funchal in Madeira. This has got a lovely Portuguese feel to it. When you dock in the port, uh, just a short walk around the harbour. There's some great little uh, restaurants and bars around there. Things you've got to, you've got to do in Madeira, um, Madeira cake, of course. Um, also, Blandy's uh, Madeira wine is absolutely stunning. You can go there and see um, the process. And there's also a great shop where you can buy vintage, and they're not actually that expensive, and buy a specific year. So if you've got an anniversary or a oh, birthday, nice, you can yeah. do it. Um, and it lovely was, gardens, of course. Oh, and you've got to go up into um, the, the gardens at the top on a cable cart and come down in the toboggan. There's like a toboggan, which is like a wicker basket. <laughs> it's a great experience. Also, there's a, there's a nice tethered balloon there as well, from, oh, from nice. memory. Uh, but great place in Madeira. Then we're off to Spain. Uh, we're going to uh, Malaga. And do you know what? This is just, you can't get, it's like the essence of Spain in a bottle. And the great thing is if you love your tapas, if you love Spanish culture, you're going to absolutely love this place. Good for shopping as well. Um, so if you fancy uh, indulging a little bit of retail therapy, then you can. Um, then we're going to go off to Ibiza. We did this earlier on. Um, lovely way, especially this is in the daytime, go around the old town. You will see, if you, if you do like a little bit of sort of uh, entertainment and, and sort of youth, then you can go to some of the bars, sort of like chill out bars. And then we're back into Parma. Um, again, Parma's your disembarkation port, but a lovely way to finish off your price. Wow, I, think, um, I mean, for that price, for Thompson's, been away for the best part of two weeks, um, amazing value. So if you book tonight, you will get a free upgrade to all inclusive. So and all your tips, service charges, they are included there as well. The single special, that's 
available from only 1639 as well. Your return flights based on London Gatwick. Again, we can generally speaking find you, you know, flights on all the cruises uh, for different airports. And it's an adult only cruise. Forgot to mention that it will be a 13 hour adult only cruise. Much as you love the children, if you don't want, you know, children around on your holiday, this is adults only. Wow, I think that was amazing. Anyway, tell you what, we've had a really great selection tonight, haven't we? Hopefully something for everybody watching. If there isn't something you love, don't forget we can find you any cruise uh, on any ship, uh, virtually anywhere in the world. Free phone number, don't forget, 020 3696 9457. So, <laughs> let's remind you, we started off Rail and Sail, it's a new one, uh, with MSC. So it's a no-fly special, they'll actually be travelling direct by Eurostar. I think that'll be a great experience. And you also get that extra night in that four-star hotel in Marseille. Brilliant price again, but for those of you that don't like flying, can't fly, that would be a great, great alternative. First time we've done that, and uh, I think it's going to be very popular. We then moved on to Cruise and Maritime. It's their 12-night Baltic Cities and St. Petersburg cruise. It's the uh, maiden season of the latest ship that they've acquired. And again, no flying straight from Tilbury, saving £920 off the brochure price. This one's actually better than a half price and a deposit only tag. Good single price on that as well of 1139 Then I can honestly say in all the years uh, I've been presenting this show, I think this has to be, in my opinion, the best offer we've had from Oceania. I don't say that lightly because look at the saving. The brochure price had this at pretty close to £5,000. It is down by 3410 you're also going to get with this five star, I'm going to call it a five star plus experience. You can choose from either free $800 on board, so that's money that you'll have to spend on board the ship and whatever you want, or you could go for the free drinks package or the three free shore excursions. You'll also get, by the way, if you uh, ring Planet Cruise, you're going to get an extra exclusive bonus, so you have to ring to find out what that is, but it's good. Uh, and that's available from the 28th of July. Uh, that's a lead date, I should say. Then we moved on to Celebrity. We've got that amazing, uh, remember, Arabian Coast and Abu Dhabi cruise there, including Dubai, and that's at 799. Amazing for Celebrity. The, we looked at the flights alone, and then we looked starting about £350. That was good, so you've got an amazing offer there. And you've got that amazing experience at the Ritz Hotel on arrival. Then, of course, we had Phil with us, Phil Shipman with the Club Med, uh, and that was fantastic at 1729 and then we just finished with of course Thompson Cruises on board the Thompson Discovery as well uh, an amazing offer and we're going to give you the free all inclusive upgrade don't forget the phone lines open till 11 o'clock tonight first thing tomorrow morning and you can check it all on our website planetcruise.co.uk wow i need a cruise after that <laughs> i was going to say the choice there's so much to choose from but um, can I just say, just thank you so much. Oh, great, great show, was it? Yeah. Thank you to Phil that joined as well with the Club Med offer. Uh, you're with us next week? Yes, we'll yes. see you next Tuesday. We will see you next Tuesday. That was really good, didn't you think? Oh, definitely. Yeah. What would you book? What's your favourite of those? MSC. I think I'll probably go for the train. Yeah. I don't know with me now. Oh, hard choice. <laughs>